What's up guys, it's your boy Fast Lane D and today <laughs> We got something a little bit different over here. Uh, we've got these two beautiful GSs, and these just aren't any regular degular GSs. All right, this is the R1300 in the triple black color wave, and this is the GS. Hey, and we're here at Tampa Bay Motos. And tell them, Alex, this is the first one delivered in the country, correct? Hey, every once in a while, we get lucky around here. Today, we got this in on Wednesday. So it is a the brand new 1300 GS Adventure Triple Black, like you said, 2025 model. And uh, you can tell visually is very different from the 2024 1250. It's been a hotly anticipated model. Definitely very polarizing because of the massive difference in the way that it looks. You know, the, the new X LED headlight, quite different. Very oh, similar. I didn't to even the notice GS. that. Yeah, yeah, it looks sick. Wild. Yeah, it compared also to that. Moved the, it, LED lights that come with it. They used to be attached to the bars down here. Mm -hmm. Now they are integrated into the body panel. Oh yeah, that's so sleek, man. Very sleek looking. Uh, much more boxy and wide looking on the new bike. Yeah, dude, this um, one compared, look like, look how wide that is right, yeah. compared to this one. It's, it's just, you know, more, yeah. more wide and more angular. But, you know, I think BMW is taking some cues from the market. Like, think Bronco. Think the new Land Cruiser from Toyota. Yeah. Both are selling out like crazy. They're looking for that kind of off-road, boxy, utilitarian look. And they definitely nailed it with this bike with, with all of the attachment points that they've added. You can add bags, you can add fuel jugs, you can add, heck, probably rifle mounts. People make all kinds <laughs> of stuff with these bikes. So yeah. It's going to be a uh, a true adventure bike yeah. and so the reason why this is so much bigger is obviously a much bigger tank so you can go longer without having to stop when you're on your road not road trips but your yeah. adventures yeah so the, the goal of the adventure is to get you farther uh that's why it's wider it's got an eight gallon fuel tank which on a bike can get you in almost 400 miles if that's crazy so that's so double the size yeah of any of my bikes get across the desert and you know you're not gonna get gas in a while. Yeah. The bike you wanna take for sure. Oh, that's so cool, man. And so I just learned this. So what is the GS and then what's the A stand for? A stands for adventure. Okay, yeah, so see there you go. The, the GS is their on-road, off-road bike. It's a German word. I'm gonna butcher it. <laughs> the, the I wanna hear it. The Funtestrasse. Hey, there we on go. Off-road, off-road. Okay. Uh, and Hey, you need to go on road, off road, but you need to go a little bit further and a little bit more rugged where they had the guards come from the factory already ready to protect you uh, from drops. Skid plate is nice and sturdy on, on the bottom to go over rocks and logs and stuff. And uh, you know, the cross spoke wheels are a, a staple in the off road community because you want to be able to hit uh, trails, hit some boulders, whatever you need to cross, this yep. bike's gonna do it. Nice, man. Well, I appreciate that, Alex. Shout out to him for coming out and explaining the differences because I'm not going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea. This is completely out of my scope, but you guys remember I rode the GS when I was in New Orleans and I had it for the entire weekend and I absolutely love that bike. So they got this first in the country, so I was like, we got to get on it. Check it out. Hey, there we go, man. So thank you. All right, but I'm just gonna, for those of you that aren't sure that are in the GS realm, give you a quick kind of side-by-side. So you just kind of see the differences here between that 1250 and this brand new one that just came in. Y'all comment below, which one do you like better? Do you think BMW knocked it out of the park with this design or you're liking the new one? Yeah, all these little mounts and everything on here are pretty cool. Seeing one of these just makes you want to go out on an adventure, man. You guys let me know. What are your thoughts? Even the exhaust is a little bit different, I'm noticing. The more I look, the more things I kind of can pinpoint there. But all right, enough talking. Let's get this montage rolling, and then we will get going on the first ride.
heated grips and heated seats. Game changer right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she's shaking from all that torque, baby. So much torque, the chassis twisted coming off the line. Name what movie that line's from. I want to show you guys this key right here. Look at this. Pretty sweet. Nice little keyless entry. What does this button do? Sensor locking. Oh, you can lock it from... What? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's nice. It's the little thing sometimes, man. These adventure bikes get that my sport bike riders don't get, but it's okay. All right, let's see how we look here, boys. Oh, the foot. This is a heavy bike for sure, but it's just so comfortable. Like, literally, I'm like almost perfectly upright, and then I have little to no, well, I guess a little bit of knee bend. Normally, on a sport bike, I'm like this. So. Take some strain off the knee as your boy is getting a little bit older. But all right, let's uh, power button. Let's watch this thing start up here. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And then make life a lot. Hey. Hey, it shakes a little bit when you, when you even rev it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, yeah. <laughs> let's go. I feel so like proper sitting up right like this. Huge shout out to Meadows once again for letting me ride this bike. Pretty cool. First one in the country delivered. It is 5.30 p.m. on a weekday. It is Friday. We're gonna be fighting some traffic here, but we'll be all right. Let's see. Bro, being on one of these just makes you want to go on like a road trip. And the awesome part about this one versus like the sport bikes is BMW does not limit you to half of the RPM range for the first 600 miles. This thing has 22 miles on it. And I also love just how familiar all the controls are for my M1000. Like it's pretty much all the same buttons. So it all feels like I'm not on my M, but everything just feels natural. <laughs> She's got some torque, man. And we're going to take her on some back roads here in just a moment. Bear with me. We'll get out of this traffic. Woo. And that second gear. I just love how the whole bike sits up before it takes off, too. It kind of reminds me of the Triumph Rocket. Like, normally you're used to, like, getting pushed up in, like, a wheelie. But that bike would, like, raise up from the back and then go. It was such a weird phenomenon. All right. Yo, this thing pulls. I was, okay, hold on, hold on. I was not expecting that. And the thing I love about the GS is that once you get going and you throw this bike around, it feels so light. It feels like, it, it reminds you of a dirt bike. Like clearly it's not as light as a dirt bike, but you don't feel that weight versus when you're pushing around a parking lot. You can feel it's a big girl. You can feel she's a little thick, but once you get going, I'm confident anyone can handle a bike like this. Bro, this thing, look at that. Yo, what? <laughs> and the other cool part is that a lot of people that buy these bikes will do like a stage two brand tune on them. And it unlocks a whole nother monster and really wakes this bike up. I honestly like how big the tank size is. I think it looks great. The design's really cool. Like these little, I don't know, slits or slots that are up top here. As y'all know, I'm a bigger guy, so I like bigger bikes like this. I look normal on them. Let's put the heated seat on, heated grips on, because it's 79 degrees, which we live in Florida, so that's cold for us. I don't know if they did motor engine upgrades. I think they did. Dude, oh my gosh, holy, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's definitely not a slouch, not a slouch at all, I can really see this bike.
this really is like the ultimate balance of having plenty of power but not like a overbearing scary amount of power and the bike still being agile yeah i can't get over how light it feels look at this we can slide the windshield up oh that's so cool block all that wind and you feel the difference for sure that would be so nice on a road trip and slide it right back down we might have to get that on my next naked bike because that is a game changer i know with an exhaust this thing would scream that one to two shift is a little rough but after that it's so smooth I know BMW is mostly an adventure brand, so this is what they do best. This is their bread and butter, and they also happen to make an amazing sport bike as well. And the best part with this is that you can ride these bikes off-road. Like, uh, I don't know what's over there, so I don't know if I want to do that, but if I wanted to, I could literally just ride off into the field right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah! Woo. Oh man, come on now! Come on now! So the best part about the GS this is that you can literally take this off road and not even have to think twice about it so <laughs> and it handles it like it's not like this is some deep grass and it literally feels like I'm on the road <laughs> that's so awesome yeah that tip in is so nice like the bike when you lean it it's like come on lean some more lean some more we got this like it's very confidence inspiring oh yeah Whoop, look at that. And we're on a, like off-road, on-road tires here. Like not anything super aggressive. That's so cool. Yeah, bro. I know this isn't much off-roading, but this is a, uh, we're kind of dealing with the cars we're dealt, but I really want to, if there was not a fence right there, I would 100% take that bike off-roading. 100% this makes you just want to go on an adventure. Oh, there is a cop. Wow, that's a new spot. I've never seen that before. I'm glad I slowed down. <laughs> he was looking at me hard. I think because I'm on a GS, we're good. If I was on a sport bike, we would not be in the clear right now, boys. Yeah, we are good. Whew. We are in incognito mode, boys. Torque in the mid range is incredible. We will park her right next to this 1250 over here. But right, let's uh, get off here real quick and I will give you my closing thoughts on the bike. It really isn't that hard to maneuver around either, which is, like I said, very impressive for how massive this bike is. The GS hey baby there's not a lot of bikes that can make d look like an average sized person here we go man so <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear that that's all i got for you guys i enjoyed my time on this bike i think the gs is obviously like i was saying bmw's bread and butter make life a ride they have so many options for adventure bikes 800 so they have a 300 a 900 
a 1250, a 1300. So obviously they're investing money in the thing that they're really good at. And yeah, this is no exception to the rule. It's comfortable, it's got plenty of power, it's got all the creature comforts you could ever want in a sport bike. And I'm not gonna lie, the paint on this thing just looks magical. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost got like a, like car paint, but also like countertop kind of blend to it, the way it looks like it's been like brushed. I don't know, I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure there's an official name for it. There you guys can see in the sunlight a little bit better. And then just all the little details that your eyes pick up that the camera might not pick up or when you see it in pictures. Just the speckle or flake in that paint just looks absolutely beautiful. And the craftsmanship is always, I mean, it's BMW, so second to none for sure. But as always, huge shout out to Tampa Bay Motos for letting me take out the first BMW GSA 1300. It was an honor. I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys while they had that here. Remember, if you are looking for a BMW, hit these guys up, let them know I sent you and they'll take good care of you. But that's really all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the Fast Lane Gang Bay. Peace. I was not expecting to make a video today, but once I came in and saw that, I was like, we gotta hop on and go for a quick ride. As always, work hard, be consistent, you do anything you want in life. Your boy, the GSA, we're out of here. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.